Right, so a few of you may remember this one. This one is one that I looked at on stream last week. And basically, this is glitching. So I replaced the retimer. It didn't fix the issue, but it did have a prior retimer attempt. What I can th all I can think of is possibly the RAM might have been floated. It could be a hard drive issue, but it's doubtful that it's the hard drive. So let me show you what's happening if I can get a display. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do some messed up shit with the um, with the cameras just to be able to get it to well just to be able to get it on screen for you guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do some messed up thing with this. So I'm gonna turn this on. <laughs> it's not even turning on now. Oh, it's that damn thing doesn't even plugged in. Right. That's what it's doing. Yeah. Proper messed up. And then I think it'll go black screen and stay black screen, I think. I think. I don't know. Oh, no, it's actually booted into the display. But, yeah, it glitches like a mofo. Um, and before it was doing that, that was after I changed the retimer. Um, but I changed it basically. I changed the retimer, and then after I changed the retimer, it was doing that. But before then, it was kicking me back to the dashboard on every game. So, yeah, very weird. It's a very weird issue. So, the only thing that I can think of that it could possibly be would be the RAM because it's had prior, it did have a prior retimer attempt, and uh, yeah, it was just. Uh, just dead weird. Looks like APU. It could very well be, mate. But I'm thinking it could be the RAM because it did have prior work. So, what I'm thinking is. I'll go to the microscope. So, what I'm thinking is possibly. I mean, you can see just how badly it's been burnt. Uh, well, actually, it's, yeah, it, it's not quite coming across, but it is quite dark. I'm thinking it could be the RAM because, well, just because of the symptoms, to be honest. So I'm thinking it could be one of these RAM ICs. Maybe. So I'm going to try replacing the RAM, I think. I've already rebought some anyway. So it could be, it could very well be the hard drive. That's doubtful. But it could very well be the hard drive, but I've never seen it co get caused by a hard drive issue. But I am going to try replacing the hard drive anyway, just for the hells of it. Just for the hells of it, I'll try replacing the hard drive. So I've pre balled four RAM ICs, which is basically enough to cover these four ICs uh, but yeah I'm going to try another hard drive just because why not it's not going to hurt is it there you go I've got a one terrible bite one do -do 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 do there we go diddling accept thank you good boy Are you seriously telling me that was just a hard drive that was full time? Nope. <laughs> it's just shut down. I can only assume that he does that when he's copying it over to that. So yeah, this is basically glitching and 
to be honest, the only thing I can think of apart from the APU would probably be the RAM. And it did have some rework around the HDMI encoder. So I'm thinking maybe the RAM could have possibly been damaged. Because what seems to be happening is the game will load up. It'll load the game's logo and then it'll try and um, it'll try and load the game but it can't load it. So it seems as though it might be doing it as it's copying to RAM. That's really the, on the only thing I can think of. That makes any sense. So I don't know. So yeah, all of these RAM ICs around here look fine, but then look, that one looks that one looks a bit rough, and then all of these look as though they've been covered in flux as well. So I think I'm going to start by replacing these four because I've got four pre-built. So I'll start by replacing them four. So yeah, I think I'm going to start with these four. And uh, we'll see where it takes us. Right. All right then. Beep. Thank you. Mucho gracias. So replacing the uh, the solder on the pads before I do anything else. I suppose I should put some more flux. Yeah, if these four don't fix it, I'll probably replace another four. I'll probably reboard another four because I've only reboard four. Um, might help if I add enough leaded solder on. So, because this isn't a customer's, I can pretty much do what I want with it. There you go. Right, so there's all of the area prepped. The warmest flux up. Pretty much impossible to know which one it is. Not without the right tools. You need an expensive uh, ESR meter to be able to know exactly what the issue is, or rather exactly which IC it is. That's it. That's even if it is the RAM. I'm not saying it is for definite. That's just what it seems like. Um, and so for that reason, I'm replacing it. Right. 
The RAM modules went on two by two. Hurrah! Hurrah! The RAM modules went on two by two. Hurrah! Hurrah! Right, I think this is the right RAM. Let's go, Hynix. I hope it's the right RAM. The RAM modules went on two by two. Hurrah! Hurrah! Hmm, I don't know if that's the right orientation or not. I better clean it and find out. So I reballed these, I think it was yesterday. Because I was going to stream last night, but then I decided not to. Because it was Valentine's night. Right, now I know it's the right orientation. Did I really just drop them in the perfect place? Right, I'm going to come off the Microsoft camera and throw these down. They should be locked in. Yep, they're locked in. I'll get the other two lined up. S for success. And that's why you grab it with tweezers and press it down because it sticks to your finger. Yeah, there's like an there's like an arrow just there. Can you see that? And that tells you where the dot is as well. So if you can't see it on the other side, it tells you where it is. Damn you. There you go. Might as well drink some coffee. That's multitasking at its finest, that is. Okay, they're locked in. So was they completely damaged? I um, I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of that's causing the glitching issue is the RAM because it's um, glitching when it's trying to load the boot screen, and it's not the hard drive. And um, the fact that it's kicking it off a game as soon as you go onto the dashboard. But there was a prior repair attempt on the HDMI encoder where it looks like a ton of heat had been used and there was flux all around the RAM so I'm basically just guessing to be honest Let's start moving to place. Honestly, it smells a little bit like cat pee. I'm not going to lie. It smells a bit like cat pee. It could be a water damaged console. That smells a little bit like urine. Right. But the APU looks fine anyway. I don't think it is the APU. To be honest. It would have no reason to be the APU. I mean the only reason I could think of that it could possibly be the APU is if it had been damaged when it was, when someone threw the APU clamp back on. That's the only thing I could possibly think of. 
that it could potentially be. Or APU wise anyway. But it does smell a little bit like urine. So I'm, th I'm wondering if this has been um, liquid damaged. And theoretically it could be a safe bridge issue. Theoretically. Well, she turns on. Uh, right, we are on a grey screen now. Uh, oh, fuck, I've put the ram upside down. Oh, I've installed the ram the wrong way. Damn it. Maybe if we just flip it, flip the TV upside down. Ah, uh, that's better, yeah. Just flip the TV upside down, that, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Let's see if it loads now. <laughs> that was a joke, guys. <laughs> Is it working? Hey! Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wee Minecraft. Oh yeah. I've never been so happy to see Minecraft in all my life. I don't know how to play the game. Seems fine. I've had enough of that. Seems okay. Cool. We done. That's pretty sweet though. Um so yeah, I mean that's really more of an educated guess based on the evidence. I mean, when I first looked at this there was a lot of flux all over the RAM. There was a brown mark around the HDMI encoder and it was those four RAM ICs that was covered in flux. So the only thing that I could think of would have been that the RAM had been overheated. Because RAM is really sensitive to heat. That's the problem. That's one thing you've got to be careful of. RAM is incredibly sensi sensitive to heat. So, yeah. It was glitching on the load screen and then kicking you off every game. So what was happening was it was trying to load... Well, it was managing to load the... Uh, because what it would do is, for example, the green screen, it would load onto the RAM in blocks I would I think I think it I think it loads in, in blocks and it like distributes it across all of the RAM. Um and basically when it's trying to load a game it's also loading that into RAM. It was able to load the green screen because it's only a small file, but because it's trying to load a big file that is you know it's distributed across every single RAM I see I would assume then yeah. Um it's kicking it back to the home screen because it's corrupting it. So it's throwing it back out with an error. That's my assumption. I don't know how RAM works. I'm not I'm not an engineer. So I'm not going to pretend to know. That's that's what I assume was happening here. But yeah, by replacing them four, that looked as though they might have been overheated. I kept trying to put data into in invalid RAM and crap tape. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. That's my assumption. Um... He was corrupting it because he couldn't copy it over. That's that's the only that's the only logical explanation I can come up with as to what it, what it was doing. But yeah, another win.